Hey everyone, we're here starting our IBC tote wicking bed garden. We have our first one completed and planted. This was our test one. In it we have our first onion crop. What we did is we took IBC totes and cut them in half. We spaced them about 32 or so inches apart inside of a about 18 by 19 foot garden with landscape timbers and mulch. Surrounding us are the remaining materials needed to complete. What we've done inside is we have four inch perforated drainage pipe wrapped around the bottom. This is gonna help disperse the water inside of the water reservoir. Then we have just a PVC pipe ins inserted, which is gonna be our fill pipe. This will be off to the side. That's what we're gonna to use to fill our reservoir. After the pipe comes a white rock. This will help be a porous space for the water to go. We cover that with just regular standard weed block. Cut a hole to go around this. In all of these, we've also done a drainage hole. As you can see here, that's at the top of where our water reservoir will be. I take your bow. So it will never hold excess water past a certain point. What we're doing now is filling them with sand. So we have 16 foot of drainage pipe, uh, three block or three bags of rock. Three bags of rock, and then we'll put five bags of sand in there. So five bags of sand. And we fill up the middle part where we didn't put rock with sand, and then we'll make a smooth sand surface all the way around the outside. Level it out. And we'll level that. And that will be our water reservoir. And in here, you can see kind of the lines with our rock. And then this is our sand line. And then from here up, we have dirt. Mulch. And we're thinking, oh, there's also mulch in there. There's a sand and then the first layer is mulch and then we have our grow dirt we're thinking it's approximately eight two cubic meter bags of dirt we had some loose dirt so this one got filled with some dirt from other projects around the yard So there's two complete beds in just under 20 minutes. Pretty excited. We did a peat moss additive to this one. Or sorry, not peat. Yeah. Peat moss. But oh, we forgot to do it in this one. I can always amend that later. Jason is gonna keep working on some of the beds. We've gotta make another trip to pick up some drainage pipe we have on order one thing we've thought about is we probably need a cap of some kind so I'm gonna work on that to make sure that there's no excess debris uh, falling into our fill pipes this uh, container we've got a little leak in the valve so we're gonna have to fix that before we complete it one thing that we want to know is we live in town, so we don't like to use city water to water our gardens. So what we've done is we've upgraded our rain barrel system. So now we have a, what is it, 330? 330 gallon. 330 gallon IBC tote. We've wrapped it in shade cloth. Help prevent algae growth. Down here we've got some fittings where we can hook up a hose. And that's what we're going to use to fill our IBC totes. 
we thought since we lifted it up there's some extra pallets from what the other IBC containers came on that it'd give enough gravity with all that pressure all that weight and just a little bit of height we thought there'd be enough gravity to feed those IBC totes enough water there's not it comes out as a very slow trickle so he has bought a a motor what is it a, a pump a transfer pump that is going to work off of an external battery like his off his Ryobi and it'll help us speed up the process of filling those containers so we're gonna just keep building these out and we'll keep you guys posted